Hi, and welcome to the Science Fantasy Experience, and to part four of a look back at June 2022, in July. So much for me trying to get out videos throughout the month, instead of a big, long, hour-long video at the end of the month. Yeah, it ain't happened. We're into July. But, anyhow, we're on to part four. So, way back when, six months ago, in January, I got the Ramen Toys 80s Commanders. Their first take on a toy property from the 80s, their very first release into the toy market, and it's their inspired look at Centurions. And here they are. And if you watched my unboxing video, I was somewhat underwhelmed. Uh, that is for sure, but if you watched my subsequent video that featured them following that about a week or so later I was in awe of them. I had got past all the niggles, that's for sure But there has always been one point that I just was still so unhappy about Unhappy is not the right word, because these are fantastic. I just... I don't want to use the word disappointed, because they're not disappointing, but... Oh, I, I can't even... I don't know what word to use the, to describe, kind of... Annoyance? No, it's, it's not annoying. It's just... It could have been done better, or it could have been a bit more like the toy original toys or the show yeah it's all about kind of bringing something to market bringing something to market that's not so close so you don't get stung by a copyright or a license or you you don't get sort of investigated or like they're pretty close to what it is i digress so what bothered me the most was the helmets other things bothered me at the time, but on reflection, those things are kind of by the by now. The one that bothered me at first was the lack of ab crunch, which, looking at them, they can't have an ab crunch. The modular weapons packs would just not work, adding an ab crunch to it, and the whole point about Centurions is, you know, the interchangeable, modular, different ways you can have the weapons packs. And obviously, a subsequent releases of weapon packs, it, it just would not work with an ab crunch. It would probably lose some structural integrity, well, that's for sure. The other thing that bothered me was the ankle tilt. It, it's just not enough. So, I can deal with no ab crunch. That's like just absolutely nothing now. You can't have one. Perhaps it's a slight di design flaw that the ankle tilt is so... Again, I, have, I don't want to say bad things about it because it, it's good. It's inefficient or it's just I wish there was more bearing. Um, I think it would elevate it even more if there was a slightly more circumference of ball joints or a tilt available. And then thirdly, obviously as I mentioned, was, is the helmets. But that obviously can be rectified. And it has been. We now have a brand new three pack of helmets done in exactly the tune and toy style. It absolutely takes these figures to the next level. The problems with the helmets for me, we'll get to Jake for sure because he's the biggest offender, but taking a quick look at Max Ray, as an example, I think they are 
over proportioned they are just far too big they just they don't sit right they just look too wide and bulbous and then if you look at ace it's practically the same design there is just no differentiation between the two it is a standardized helmet there might be some slight tooling on the top there's Max Ray has a couple of fins, Ace McLeod does not, but the mouthpieces are practically the same. And that's just not how they were on the show. Obviously with the subsequent release of the 80s toy colours, you get that design helmet. So now the original backers and the original buyers that bought the first run where you get the darker colour, the wash, we now have these awesome looking helmets which do come apart and you get proper face sculpts of the guys. I didn't mind the original face sculpts. They, I didn't think they were bad at all, they just weren't for me and I knew that going into it. I'm pretty much always going to have them helmeted but when you see these at the package, you'll see what a difference the new face sculpts do. And in terms of Jake, Jake was the worst offender. So this yellow is just not the same at all. It probably looks the same on the camera, but it's not. It is more akin to this yellow plastic and it's incredibly obvious again his just his helmet looks exactly the same but let's bust out the new heads and see for ourselves how much better they are first up Jake Rockwell as you can see the yellow is so much better and the size this is just a little bit smaller and it's quite a dramatic change in terms of the helmet sculpt. Just far superior. It's great to have options, that's for sure. But yeah, they've absolutely got this down to a T. And again, it's got the gentle wash, just like the figure. In terms of the face sculpt, Absolutely nailed Jake Rockwell. It's got this lovely blend of kind of toy, cartoon, and some of the, I'm gonna say licensed comics. There was a handful of comics that came out at the same time. And I just think it's, it's taken a bit of inspiration from each one to give the signature look but not made it you know too exactly the same as the original toys but yeah I think they've they've nailed Jake so much well more proportioned and it just looks infinitely so much better and now beautifully colour matched it sits perfectly with the other yellow and they've continued on the grey at the back Jake through and through and the option to have helmeted or not the cocky flyboy himself Ace McLeod slightly I think there's the wash is less on here which works it actually makes the blue pop a little bit more they are fractionally smaller it's only by like millimeters but it makes a huge difference obviously this faceplate is a bit more elongated than this one but these they're wide but you just get that tiny bit more detail you can see the eyes with each figure they're so dark they're the plastic you can only just make out the faces underneath there but yeah, these, each sculpt is fantastic. 
lovely coiffured hair and masculine face. Just really delicate lines to show the detail across the like the cheeks and under the eyes. The, the actual pupils are dead on, totally aligned. Fantastic. Such an improvement. The best part about Ace McLeod's new helmet and head is the sheer amount of tilt you have. That's, you, you've got barely anything with the previous helmet. There's no way you're gonna get that range low down or, you know, he's, he's an aerial ace. No pun intended. So he's going to have to be posed in such a aerodynamic pose. It's what I wanted from the original release for sure. And I think that's why I was so underwhelmed. But now, six months later, nailing it. Nailing it on every level. And finally, Max Ray. I saved him till last because he's my absolute fave. Love an action figure with a moustache. We have got his helmet again. So many differences, so no, no fins. But you can obviously see the design inspiration on his mouthpiece. Wider visor and it just it feels, it feels and looks better. Again, they haven't gone overboard on the wash and I think that works well with the helmets being that that's gonna be in some ways the focal point of the figure. But it just, there's that extra added bit of grime that gives it that slightly different take to the 80s versions you know I have the originals I don't need a carbon copy so yeah the wash is my preferred choice of the two such a handsome devil that moustache you know just commands leadership it's it's a, a great representation of Max Ray scale perfectly and just I hadn't noticed some creases on the forehead actually adds to his little bit of maturity being that I always viewed him as the the older member of the team again just like Ace amazing amount of range of motion again on a flight stand given that dynamic underwater pose whether it is up or deep dive. Max is by far my favourite. They, I think they have got him perfect from the colour to the amount of wash. The colour choices for the orange and yellow. The signature colours. I love the griminess. It just works so well. It doesn't feel like battle damage. It just feels like, you know, they've, they've seen the action. He's gone through murky polluted water i can't let you guys go without giving you a man machine power extreme i've been rudy sasu and always remember it's as much about play as it is display thanks for watching